When creating functions in Python, your function may or may not return a value. A value returning function returns a value using a return statement. For example, if you had a function called add, it could add up the sum of two integers and then return that sum using a return statement. And if you didn't have anything to return in your function, let's say your function just printed out some data, then that would be considered a void function and it wouldn't have a return statement in it, but it does actually return the value none. So let's try out some examples of Python void and value returning functions and see what they look like. In my previous video where I described function parameters and arguments, we learned how to create this sum function which prints out the sum of two integers or two strings. But having a print statement inside your function is not really a good idea unless that's what you really intended on doing. But let's say that you wanted to sum up two numbers, but you didn't want to always have to print it out. Maybe you wanted to do something else with the value, like add it to some other number or pass it to another function. So rather than printing out the sum, you could just return x plus y like that. And then when we run the program, we don't get any more output anymore. But in order for us to print the output, we could either assign a variable like var to this function call, then print var. And what's happening is it's summing up 25 plus 52 to get 77. It's assigning it to var, and then we're printing the value 77 from that variable var, and that's going to give us the 77. And similarly here, str, because it's a string, and then print str. Then this prints out hello world. Also, since your function now returns a value, you don't even have to assign the, the return value to a variable. You could just do something like this. Print the sum of 12 and 34. And this will give you 46. And even combine some combine a string in there. Sum is there you go. And now it prints out the sum is 46. So you can do a lot more things if you have a return value for your function. And check this out. You can get a little crazy with it. We can make one of our arguments call sum again. 3, comma, 4. Alright, so this is gonna return back 7 and then it's going to pass 25 and then 7 to this sum function, and you'll get 32. So just showing you that if your function is returning a value, you can use it as an argument to, an, to, a, to the same function or, or another function. You can stick it in a print statement. You can assign it to a variable. There's so much you can do with it rather than just printing it out in the function, which is kind of boring. So it's better to have return statements. And this is called a value returning function. Whereas before, without the return statement there, it was considered a void function. And it actually returned the value none. So when writing functions, you should always try to aim for having some kind of value returned. And you can actually even return more than one value. And we'll learn more about that in a future video. So stay tuned.